Hey YouTube, what up, Sebzir? How you doing? And here I have Chase. my friend. Yes, there's Chase right there, my good friend Chase, and we are going to be talking about the Godfather. Yes, the legendary 1972 Godfather film, directed by Francis Ford Coppola and starring Al Pacino and Marlon Brando, bro. Come on, James Cannon and several other people. Talia Shire, you know what I'm saying. You all seen this movie. And in case you haven't seen this movie, this is going to be a very spoiler-filled summary. So yes, we're going to begin with Chase explaining a bit of the film. So Chase, tell us. So in the beginning of the movie, we see uh, Don Corleone's daughter getting married, and it's her wedding. Yes. And the main thing that we have to remember in this scene is that we see Michael Corleone, one of Don's children, telling his wife that he will never be like his family and he's not involved in the family business because they're the mafia that's why and he's a soldier and nope. he doesn't want to become one of them nope not at all and um, basically after that somebody shoots the godfather dun 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 yeah they shoot him right in the back and he's in the hospital and so his kids they need to somehow take revenge and on their father so you know what they do? They hire Michael. Well, not hire him. They make him shoot these other peeps. And that, that scene was amazing. Remember that scene where they shoot him? Uh, not him. They shoot the bad guys for the first time. He shoots dead people. Okay. So why don't he you kill do people for the first time? <laughs> Sorry. Anyway. So this is just the first, be the beginning of Michael's kill streak, I guess you could call it. And of uh, him becoming worse than his father. And leading the family mob business. The big highlight is when um, the guy wakes up with the, the horse. The guy. That was a very intense scene, I have to admit. The first time I saw that. Can you believe that was a real horse? Yeah, that was a real horse. That, I mean, I hope that wasn't real blood. I don't think so. But that that was the real man's reaction, seeing the horse. You know, and um, We're going to show you this yeah, it's right, scene, right? Yeah, right now. Another highlight of mine will have to be um, some of the many famous quotes of the film. Here they are. I'd say this is a become film because really it's all about Michael becoming his father Don and taking over the family business and um, really doing exactly what he said he wasn't going to do. Exactly. Um, yeah, it's definitely a become film. You get to see Michael become the godfather as he throughout the film. You see him kill the first two people. And that's when I think that he realized, oh, man, I have power with this. And he looks very power hungry after that. After the scene where they kill his wife in Italy, I think, or Venice. Yeah. Or, and that's when he starts well, having hatred. One of the main reasons why he has a lot of hate. And he's like worse than his father. Because, yeah, his dad... His parents were murdered, but I don't know. I don't know why Michael is worse than his dad. I think it's kind of cool. So let's compare and contrast this glorious film, yes? So, what should we compare it to? My favorite film oh. would have to be Inglorious Bastards. Another favorite film of mine would have, have to be this film, The Godfather. I mean, it's incredible. I, I watch it all the time on TV, and I have to watch it until the end. I mean, that's what you do with your favorite movies. You can't. Just see it on TV. Oh, okay, I've seen it before. No, you, you press play and you watch it until the very end. It's compared to another movie watched in film class, Casablanca. Both of these movies had great acting. That's true. And they're both they're older than Mr. Duke. These movies both have action and things that you don't know, but you later find out. And, but obviously, since we're doing this review, we know that Godfather is our favorite movie. Yes, for sure. And um, we watch it again. In the end, I give this film definitely a ten. Spectacular! I loved it. Forever love it. Um, yeah, I'd definitely give it a 10. So. And remember, the theme is family over everything, right, Chase? Yes, family. That's, that's, that's a good theme, even in a dark monster film like this. Yep. Well, I guess that's our conclusion. That's what we thought of The Godfather. We absolutely love it, and uh, we think it's a classic, and it'll forever be loved. Um, well, that was my review, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hasta la chacha. I'll see you soon, and God bless you. Goodbye.